What's it like having a Belton Shepherd as a companion dog? Jack is a Belton Shepherd or a Grenondale. Originally I didn't purchase a dog as a companion dog, but I actually found out that Jack is actually an, an excellent companion dog. Let me backtrack. So originally I bought him as a running companion and also as a protection dog, you know, for my wife. So while I find Jack a, a really nice running companion, he is a bit to be desired when running him on leash um, because he just likes to smell so many things. But leash free running, he's actually really good. He'll stick close by um, the, the entire time. So, so that now that I've had Jack for over a year, it's made me think that Jack is turning out to be a fantastic companion dog. I think a lot of a reason for that is his Velcro behaviour. So Jack is very happy to do anything that we do, happy to go everywhere that we go, no matter what the time, even if it's in the middle of the night a few times. He's still happy to get up and go wherever we're going. And his calm and protective nature means that he's always uh, when we're watching TV, he's sitting right in front of us, or if I'm on the computer, he'll be sitting in the hallway staring at me about from about 10 feet away. So he's always there watching. Now the only... The catch is with a Belgian Shepherd, having one as a companion dog is... The first one is they need their exercise. So if you're not prepared to exercise your dog at least two hours a day I wouldn't get one because I'll just drive you crazy so I find Jack's calm demeanor is actually, actually goes hand in hand with being a companion dog so it's very calm and chill um, you can walk him around uh, populated areas with lots of dogs He's no problem with any of the dogs. He's rarely a problem with any people, um, except for maybe people that are trying to approach him on the sneak. He doesn't like that. Hence me getting this leash. I am training just as a reminder to make people think when they try and pat him from behind. Yes, yeah, so the second point, uh, caveat about having a Belgian Shepherd, they drool quite a bit and he drools all day. Um, we've got towels lined up in strategic locations, the places where he usually sits. So we've sort of worked around it. But just be prepared for that when you get one that he is going to drool. So I'm sure why people don't even mention this aspect of him because it's quite significant. Or would be for some people, I guess. I'm guessing the Belgian Turbaran, which is also a Belgian Shepherd, which would be pretty much an identical choice to a Grandendale. Uh, I'm not sure about a Malamar, since I've never had one. We do have quite a few in the area, though. So there you have it. I hope that helps you if you're deciding to, if you're looking for a companion dog and maybe a Belgian Shepherd might be for you if you're an outdoorsy type of person. So even if you're a runner, he'll easily keep up with you. If you like this channel and you want to see us grow, please like and subscribe.